Hello everybody, welcome to the wooden frame magazine collage tutorial. To start we're just getting a look at what will be needed. So you should have one magazine, one wooden frame, one jar of Mod Podge, one sponge brush, one piece of brown cardstock, and then written instructions in your bag. The only thing you will need that hopefully you have at home is a pair of scissors. To start, I'm going to show you the two options I will be doing on screen for you today. The first one is called the distressed look, and it's kind of a faded, old-timey look. The second, on the other hand, is option two, and it's just more of a normal, traditional collage, taking buzzwords or pictures and placing them on the frame. And of course, option three, you can do whatever you want. Okay, we're gonna start with option one, the distressed look. To start out, you'll want to find images and words in your magazine that you want on your frame. And then once you find those, just go ahead and cut them out. If you'd like to figure out placement for your words or images, you can do so, but I'm just going to go ahead and wing it. The next step after cutting out your images or words will be placing a layer of Mod Podge onto your wooden frame. And just a thin layer, it doesn't have to be excessive, just enough to make your image or word stick to the frame. Find the image or word you want to stick in that particular place. Now, if I were doing a traditional collage, I would go ahead and stick the image onto the glue. However, since I am going for the distressed look, I'm actually gonna turn the image around and place the image into the glue. Once your image or word is placed into the glue, I would go ahead and press it firmly, make sure it's really stuck on there well. After that, you're gonna go ahead and add another layer of Mod Podge on top of the image or word. You'll now go ahead and let that section dry. In fact, it's probably best to start on a new location with a new word or image, doing the same thing we did previously. Then once you finish that new section, go back to the previous part and I'll show you what to do next. Once it's dried, you're gonna go ahead and start the peeling process. As you can see, the image that we put down into the glue is now staying onto the wooden frame. You may have noticed how white the image is, so if you wanna go ahead and just gently rub away some of the white, that will make the image you put down a little more clear. Now, when I say clear, that doesn't mean the image is crystal clear or perfect in any sense of the word, but it is the desired look we are going for. Again, it gives it that distressed, used up, old-timey effect. Now you'll just go ahead and repeat this process until your frame is covered how you want it. I did find that using words, particularly like large black inked words, did work the best in regards to things coming out more clearly, but just keep in mind that everything will be the mirror image, which means it will be backwards. Okay, so this is what it should kind of look like when you complete your frame, and then you'll go ahead and just add one more layer of Mod Podge to kind of seal everything in. Okay, and this is the end product after everything has dried. If you're not a fan of the distressed look, I will go ahead now and show you how to do a traditional collage. So for the traditional collage, we're gonna start by putting our layer of Mod Podge onto the wooden frame. And from there, you'll go ahead and stick your words and images where you want them. You'll then continue this same process until your frame is covered how you want it. So after you have all your pieces on your frame how you'd like them, you can go ahead and put one more layer of Mod Podge over the top of everything. Then, as you can see, I kind of have some pieces hanging off, so I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and trim the edges. If you don't have an X-Acto knife, I'd imagine scissors would work just fine, or you could fold the edges around the corners and glue them down. And lastly, a picture frame isn't a picture frame without a picture. So whether you want a picture of your pet, your family, yourself, maybe you just want an image or a celebrity or your favorite word, it doesn't matter, but just make sure 
it's going to fit. The piece of cardstock I provided is 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches, and that is actually just larger than the hole in the picture frame. So it's best to find a picture with similar dimensions so it will fit properly. I actually used the Mod Podge to stick my picture to the cardstock, and then once I had that centered and how I wanted it, I then proceeded to glue, or you can tape your cardstock onto the back of the picture frame, obviously with the picture facing forward in the center of your frame, and your magazine collage picture frame is complete. <laughs> 